Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Creating a business in a small economy that might be challenging, but to elaborate it on it in eight minutes is more like Im mission impossible, but I will do my best and uh, luckily some of the last presentation actually supplements my presentation, so there you go. So let's dive in. Um, yeah, you've already seen a lot of maps, uh, but I was kind of uh, happy. I found one where we had, actually were no clouds over the Faroe Islands. It happens. Uh, we are remote. That's a fact. And uh, what are the typical characteristics or challenges creating big business in small economies? Yeah, it's, of course, the absence of economy of scale. There's no internal market. We are severely dependent on our natural resources for our in the Faroes, it's a fishing, and for many years it was only fishing. Now, luckily, we have fish farming and we have also tourism that is coming up. We have a narrow range of export products, high import, especially fuel, lack of labor, poor infrastructure, limited access to investors and financing, and lack of expertise and know-how. Some of these are applicable to the Faroe Islands, but not all of them. Yes, we have the absence of economy of scale, so if we want to go big, we have to go global. And if you want to go global, you have to bring something to the market. And uh, what we think that we can actually do in the Faroe Islands is, as we heard in the last presentation, bring out our expertise. The Faroe's population is in general very well educated and skilled, and I think that in some areas we are specialists, and maybe we are the best in the world. Uh, this is due to long maritime traditions, but also, as we have heard, it's, it's kind of culturally founded. Being where we are, we have to be flexible, and we hear that time after time from our clients that you have the most skilled and most flexible seamen, and they, that's the reason that we can compete on an international market. Uh, this is not only something I am saying, it has been um, uh, recognized by international shipping companies for many years. Uh, Faroese officers have been manning the international fleet for decades and are still doing that, bringing a lot of expertise to the Faroe Islands. So we are going global and what we are bringing to the industry is, is the expertise. Uh, we think we have it. Uh, the offshore market is, uh, in, in, in any means, a global market. Some of them are more closed than others. And uh, we have not been operating in all of them, but uh, here is, for instance, a picture from uh, Mozambique. Uh, we were supporting this drill ship in Mozambique and Tanzania. We have been uh, supporting Stena Icemax, west of Ireland, another drill ship. Uh, we have had activities here in the Faroe Islands, supporting West Hercules. And we are doing a lot of business in Norway as well. This picture is of Transocean Searcher. So, converted to a mission statement, we say we exceed and improve the standards in our industry by adding a human touch, and that human touch is in the way we do our things. That is the Faroe Seaman again. Our vision is to be a 100% perfect match for the demanding client. And as we all know, when we go out on a 100% open market, we need to face our clients in, the, in, the, in, in their eyes. So. so, to put this in an Arctic context, uh, I think we have gathered a lot of knowledge that is usable in the Arctic. Sustainability and environment is uh, of the highest importance in the offshore industry, and I think that as it has been said here in, uh, today, the Arctic is not only two polar bears on, a, on, on ice, it's definitely also a sea full of plastic. And that is maybe something that the governments should think about. Uh, we often tend to look 50 years in the future, what should we do to solve the problems we have in 50 years? But why not look at the problems we have now and we can actually do something about them. We can find the source, and stop it, and we can clean our seas. Uh, we have uh, experience in, uh, in, not in plastic recovery, but in oil recovery. 
uh, we are doing a, uh, here's a, it's a picture from a drill. We are uh, also experienced in emergency response and stamp by rescue. I think these are qualities that are highly useful going forward uh, with new activities in the Arctic, new transportation routes, and probably also, hopefully also oil drilling. So, uh, as you can hear, I'm trying to say that in order to create a big business here in, in a small local company, you have to go global. But the benefits for the local society is, uh, especially if you have shipping, we go outside, that will always be, if we have maritime services in, in the Faroe Islands, as you have been, as the previous speaker talked about, the ship owners will always be central in the maritime cluster. The ship owners are demanding uh, services. Uh, we have already a lot of these services well functioning today. We have shipyards, we have financing, we have insurance, we have recruiting, we have legal consulting, etc. in the Faroe Islands. Uh, and we have also the spin-offs that are transportation, hotels, restaurants, tourism and other. So I think that uh, shipping is a big part in this area, and the spin-offs are, are the big potential in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in creating a big business in our society. Uh, also, we have education. We have a very well-functioning edu educational system for maritime seafarers, that is engineers, and uh, also deck officers here in the Faroes, and also the courses that are required to maintain these certificates. So my uh, final remark today is, especially when we th talk about the Arctic, we think that we have something to, to deliver here in this area, but we surely hope that environment and especially plastic in the sea as a specific area will be a top priority for all governments that say they have an interest in the Arctic. That is something that we actually can do something about. Thank you.